to appreciate the efforts of uh, government of Pakistan for achieving something which was almost well nigh impossible. I will not repeat what uh, what uh, Mohtarma Shari Rahman Sahiba or uh, MOS <coughs> Hina Rabani Kar Sahiba has already conveyed to you because it will be a repetition and I wouldn't want to uh, come in the way of your uh, wonderful dinner you're going to have with your families and in hotels and uh, wherever. I wish you a wonderful evening. But let me say very candidly that it all started back in June this year when Pakistan faced the most devastating floods and as a result, 33 million people were affected. 1,800 people died, including children, and loss of agriculture, industry, infrastructure, livestock, and the estimate is about $30 billion. In that, <clears throat> I would like to avail of this opportunity to once again express my deep gratitude to all those countries who came to help Pakistan at that point in time with kind and cash. Some of the reps sitting in front of me, I know them by their faces, some are not here, but I want to say in no uncertain terms that this contribution on your part was most valuable in this hour of need. And then, of course, within Pakistan, philanthropists, they came forward and contributed immensely to support our brothers and sisters in Sindh and Balochistan, other parts of Pakistan. And then, of course, provincial governments did a remarkable job, particularly uh, the government of Sindh, led by Chief Minister Shah Sahib, and, and uh, in Balochistan, Chief Minister Bazanjo Sahib, and of course, other provincial governments as well, along with NDMA and PDMAs. And what uh, Foreign Minister Braval Bhutto was able to reflect at international forums along with Sherry Rahman Saiba and a remarkable job done by our in information minister to make all this happen was a reflection of what provincial governments and these institutions had done back home during those trying months, June, July, August, September. Those of you who have been to these places, I know our uh, foreign friends have been there. It was nothing but sea flowing all over. And houses and villages and cities completely inundated, submerged. And at that time, the people of Pakistan federal government and provincial governments and related institutions did a remarkable job. And it is for the first time that International Forum, through a dedicated teamwork, Pakistan's voice was heard loud and clear. Loss and damage 
was something like a sleeping beauty for decades. But for the first time, it was articulated <clears throat> most ably by our team, led by Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto, by Motarma Sheri Rahman Saiba, and she did a terrific job at Sharmul Sheikh, and I am a witness to all this. Bhaval Bhutto made a fantastic job as foreign minister, interacting with his counterparts, trying to convey the message that we are seeking justice and not charity. Ladies and gentlemen, I have deliberately avoided, and we have completely avoided using the word reparations, because that is harsh. That is not proper. That is not sagacious. It is not uh, diplomatic parlance. But certainly, we are seeking justice because what has happened to us, I hope and pray to Allah Almighty, won't happen to any other country in times to come. But what uh, Sherry Rahman Sahib has said, she has put words in my mouth, it's her words, that what has happened in Pakistan will not stay in Pakistan. And this, unfortunately, is hard and harsh truth. And therefore, our friends in Global North, they should and they have realized the importance of this challenge. And that's why it's been a remarkable agreement in Shermal Sheikh. Loss and damage is now a reality. But then, it's not about these agreements and understandings. It's about practical implementation, manifestation of these commitments. What has happened in the past is past. $100 billion were committed, but to what level these have been contributed is a big question mark. Therefore, <clears throat> I would make use of this opportunity. It is purely a ceremony, believe me, not to extend our uh, bowl, because we are not extending our bowl. One day soon we are going to get rid of it. But this is something different. Pakistan has become victim of something which uh, we have nothing to do with. Our contribution in these greenhouse gases is less than 1%. And then we can go on and discuss a host of list of countries where emissions are much higher than they had committed at various forums. But I wish and you would all want to pray to Almighty that uh, this should not happen to other countries. But that's a wishful thinking unless and until we stand up and accept the challenge and make practical demonstration of our commitments globally. I would like to <clears throat> place on record my deep appreciation to all those government officials, be in uh, foreign office or uh, Ministry of Climate Change, our uh, diplomats, expert in this field, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Ministry of uh, Asin Iqbal's Ministry, Planning, thank you, Ministry of Information, and each and every 
Pakistani who has contributed in making the world realize that what has happened to us and this must not happen to any other country and that we are seeking justice and not charity. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, I had desired to hold this ceremony just to acknowledge your teamwork, splendid work and outstanding performance at various forums. Unfortunately, our foreign minister could not join us because of uh, some technical fault in the plane which was carrying him to Islamabad and some other ministers who are probably busy in some very other productive meetings and I can understand that. All of them have done a remarkable job and Rafi Alam, I have a lot of respect for him, not because he has been my friend, rather he has been criticizing my, you know, job in Punjab as Chief Minister, but I have uh, found in him a man who speaks truthfully and really comes across somebody who has uh, pain for this country and who wants to do something for uh, improving conditions, living conditions in Pakistan. Much later, we became friends, although we meet sparingly. He then headed uh, as chairman of uh, Punjab Lahore Waste Management Board, and then he saw for himself what a remarkable job he did in waste management. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to my uh, ambassadors and high commissioners sitting here who have been great friends of Pakistan and who have done remarkable contribution to see Pakistan going forward as a democratic dispensation and improving its lot through untiring efforts. Thank you very much. Pakistan, Zindabad. Express New 